welcome back to Forex Life. Hope you all are having a good day, fantastic day, profitable day. In this video, we're going to be looking at another awesome scalping strategy for you guys to help you guys grow accounts, make daily target, and just grow in general as a trader. Okay, if this is your first time on this channel, please go ahead like subscribe comment down below and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when i do drop the next video guys it's very important that you guys like this video and share it so that the youtube algorithm can kick it out to more beginner traders out there people just like you that's finding ways to scalp the market so nevertheless let's get straight into it So the first thing we're going to do is we of course we're going to go ahead and add our indicators so as usual the first thing we do is we're going to click on this little f icon over here okay that is for, in order for us to load indicators onto our mobile phone on empty file onto our chart we're going to click on the f plus icon over here and the first indicator that we are going to load is a moving average okay we're going to load a moving average and this is what you guys are going to load on this moving average so period we're going to have 50 period shift zero our method is going to be exponential we're going to apply to close and i'll make it four pixel and i will make the color blue okay when you're done you just click done okay the second indicator that we are going to load is also going to be a moving average okay so we're going to click again here on the f plus icon and we're going to click on moving average but this moving average we're going to change the period to 21 okay we're going to change the period to 21 everything else stays the same um, we're just going to change the color so let's just change that to black and then we click on done okay the next indicator that we are going to load is the third indicator. I'm going to click again on the F plus icon over here. And we are going to go ahead and load the RSI, also known as the Relative Strength Index. So we're going to look over there. We're going to keep it period 1, apply to close. And then the color should be the color of your background. So my background is white, so I'm going to make that white. The levels over here... We're going to change that levels to level 90 and level 10. So level 90 will be to sell and level 10 would be to buy. Okay, you can just type that in there. Once you have those settings done, you're going to click done. So this is what your chart should be looking like at the moment. So you have your two moving averages on the main chart and then we have our RSI here at the bottom in indicator window one okay now we're going to move on to our next indicator so we're going to click on the f icon once again now over here we're not going to click on the f plus on the main chart we're going to click on the f plus on our indicator window one okay so we're going to click over there and we're going to look for the macd so we're going to look for the MACD indicator, which is this one over here. You're going to tap on it. And these are the parameters that we're going to use for this indicator. We're going to keep our fast EMA 12, our slow EMA 26, our MACD SMA 9, apply to close. The styles, the main style, we're going to change this to 4 pixel and we're going to make this blue. And then the signal, we're going to change it to 4 and we're going to leave it at red, okay? We're not going to change anything else on the MACD and then we're just going to click on done. So this is what it should be looking like on your chart. Then we're going to go back and we're going to click on the F icon again because we're going to load another indicator, okay? So we're going to click on the F icon over here and then what we're going to do this time is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the F plus on the main chart. Okay, so we're going to click F plus and then we're going to go ahead and add another RSI, another relative strength index. Okay, 
So with our relative strength index, we're going to tap on that and it's going to be the exact same settings. We're going to click on done. So we're going to have two indicator windows like this, the top one and the bottom one. Then what we're going to do, we're going to click on the F icon again. And over here, we're going to click on indicator window two, which is this one. Okay, so we're going to click on this little F plus icon over there. And then we are going to look for the awesome oscillator. Okay, and look for the awesome oscillator just over here. And the default settings as is, we're going to leave it as is. And we're going to click on done. So this is what your chart should be looking like at the moment. Okay, this is what your chart should be looking like. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus on the zoom level. So this is the lowest zoom level that there is. We are just going to zoom out once. Okay, we're just going to zoom out once. Let me just do that again. Just once. That's all that we're going to do. I just want to change my okay my colors it's fine we just zoom out once and that is how your chart should look so you should have these two moving averages on your main screen you should have the MACD and you should have the awesome oscillator over here now we're going to look at the conditions to taking the trade okay because with this strategy you can easily scalp 20 to 30 candles so this is where I want you guys to take note, okay? For your 1,000 pairs, so on crash 1,000 and boom 1,000, you can scalp 20 to 30 candles, okay? There will be two take profit levels. I will explain that to you. But take a note of this. Boom 1,000, crash 1,000 is 20 to 30 candles, okay? Then when we move down to the 500 pairs, which is boom 500 and crash 500, we are only going to do 10 to 20, okay? 10 to 20 candles. And then on boom 300 and crash 300, we are going to do 5 to 10 candles, okay? Only because the 500 pairs and the 300 pairs have very short movements. So it's very quick for reversal to happen on those pairs. However, you remember what I say, you always check the trend, the trend is your friend, and you can use that to determine whether you can hold longer or not. Okay, so now I'm going to explain the conditions, and then I'm going to explain the two take profit levels as well. So the first condition that we're going to be looking at is on indicator window 1, which is over here. This is our indicator window 1, okay? So the first thing that we're going to look at is our MACD, which is this blue over here, needs to be at level 10, okay? Now, what it needs to do, so we reach level 10, this is our first condition, okay? We have three conditions in order to take the trade. So first condition, the blue MACD needs to reach level 10 and cross level 0, okay? cross level zero which is the middle line over here it needs to cross level zero that is our first condition so i'll just repeat that needs to come from level 10 and cross level zero that's our first condition of the macd second condition of the awesome oscillator it needs to come for, needs to touch level 10 so over here we can see it touched level 10 okay it needs to come from level 10 and cross level 0. Same condition as the top one. Come from level 10, cross level 0. Come from level 10, cross level 0. Okay, that's condition number 1. That's condition number 2. Condition number 3, in order to take the trade, we need to see a crossover of the moving averages. Okay, a crossover. So for crash, your black moving average needs to cross above your blue moving average once all three of these conditions are met you can go ahead and take the trade and take your 20 to 30 candles okay that is take profit one 20 to 30 candles that's take profit one if you have a small account if you have a bigger account or you have a small account and you want to hold the trade 
Your second take profit level would be once the moving averages crosses over again. So over here we can see that the black moving average crosses below the blue moving average. So that would be our take profit 2 level right over there. Okay. Now remember these indicators here at the bottom, they do not lag. Okay. They do not lag. You can see. Let me just do this. They do not lag. So we're going to move and we're going to look for another opportunity. So right over here we can see we have another opportunity. The MACD touched level 10 and it crossed above level 0. Over here the, MAC, the awesome oscillator touched level 10 crossed above level 0. So our two conditions are met over there. And then of course on the main chart the black moving average crossed above the blue moving average and we take 20 to 30 candles and we take profit okay over here over here we've reached level 10 we crossed above but then we came back down so we can't take this trade unless it crosses above again okay because it's coming from level 10 it needs to cross above it came back down but it crossed above level 0 again so we can take this trade over here same thing over here we've reached level 10 we've crossed above and we crossed above level 0 here we have our two moving averages the black cross the blue 20 to 30 candles that is our take profit level one and our take profit level two would have been over here once this black moving average crosses the blue moving average okay so you can easily scalp 20 to 30 candles risk free okay so we look for another opportunity so over here we have another opportunity don't want to make this video too long for you guys so the MACD touched level 10 and then it crossed level 0. Awesome Oscillator touched level 10 and then it crossed level 0. And on our main chart we can see we had the crossover over here where the black moving average crossed above the blue moving average and we take 20 to 30 candles. Now we're just going to go ahead and have a look just do this quickly just remove all of that we're going to have a look at boom 1000 now remember on boom 1000 we are looking for a sell okay we're looking for a sell opportunity so right over here we can see it's coming from level 90 for boom for sell we need to have our MACD touch level 90 and we need to have it cross below level zero which it currently has done okay so that's our first condition our first condition is met over there and then over here we have the awesome oscillator at level 90 and it crossed level zero so we have two confirmations to take this trade already our third confirmation to take this trade would be to wait for the moving averages to cross we would want the black moving average to cross above the blue moving average okay in order for us to take this trade so let's see over here we have another one from level 90 our MACD crossed below level 0 first confirmation is met over here our awesome oscillator from level 90 cross level zero second confirmation is met then over here our blue moving average crossed above our black moving average we go in and we take the trade 20 to 30 candles we take our profit if you want you can wait till the crossover happens again over here and you can take your profit so we're going to wait to see if we have the blue moving average cross above the black moving average and then we will go ahead and take the trade okay we can look for more examples 
So over here we have another example. So we have it reached level 90 and it crossed below. On our indicator window 2 as well, it reached level 90 and it crossed below. And over here we have the blue moving average that crossed above the black moving average. You take your 20 to 30 candles and you are out of the market. Or you wait for the crossover to happen again and that should take profit too. I would personally go for 20 candles just to be safe, not to be greedy in the market. 20 candles and take my profit. Next pair we can look at is Crash 300. So on Crash 300, remember I said 5 to 10 candles for this pair. So we can see it comes from level 10. Our first condition is met. Comes from level 10 and crosses to level 0. Comes from level 10, indicator window 2, crosses level 0. And our third confirmation is over here where the black moving average crosses above the blue moving average. And we go ahead and we take our 10 candles and we are out of the market. Now we go and check boom 300. Same thing. So over here we have the first confirmation level 90. Crosses below level 0. Over here we have level 90 and it crosses below level 0. Now we are waiting for the crossover to happen. Crossover happens. We go ahead we take our 10 candles and we are out of the market. Check crash 500. On crash 500, same rules apply guys on every single pair. Over here, level 10, it crosses level 0. Over here, level 10, and it crosses level 0. Then what do we do? We wait for the crossover to happen. We have a crossover over here. We take, what was the rule? 10 to 15 candles on the 500 pairs, okay? 10 to 15 candles on the 500 pairs. I won't recommend on the 500 and the 300 pairs holding till the next take profit. But if you feel comfortable that your account is big enough, you can go ahead and you can do that. Okay, so I hope that you guys are enjoying these strategies that I am posting. I hope you guys are making profits. I would love to see reviews that you guys send in the comments below if you are using the strategies how it has been helping you guys also click the link in the description below to join the free telegram group where i drop free signals daily this is a very simple very easy strategy that you can go ahead and use we're still waiting for this crossover this video is really really long i'm gonna see if i can get the crossover for you guys quickly so we can take the trade because the conditions are met but this video is almost 20 minutes long. So I'm just going to pause the video and then wait for the crossover to happen. Okay, so here we can see a clear crossover happening. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that cell. And then we're going to hold it for 20 to 30 candles. I forgot to mention guys, your stop loss. Okay, the strategy comes with a stop loss. Your stop loss is always above the previous spike. So just above the previous spike over there. And if it's on crash, it would be below the previous spike. Okay. So on crash, if you take the signal over here, your stop loss would be below. Okay. We always trade with stop losses, always to protect your account. So this stop loss over here would be 10054. So we go ahead and we put in the stop loss, 10054. And we have a stop loss in place. And now we just hold for 20 candles. And we see if it goes all the way to our take profit or if it hits our stop loss. I'll pause the video and I'll be back, guys. Okay, just a check in, guys. Let's just see how much candles we've collected so far. 
so we on 11, 11 candles sorry so four and 20 candles is the target but as you guys can see the strategy really works i just took this trade to show you guys <clears throat> The, re the reason I was actually hesitant to take the trade is because on this account, this account started with $5. One of my old accounts, there was $5 in my account and I created a challenge for myself to see how far I can get it just by trading Crash 300. Only trading Crash 300 pairs, I wanted to see how far I can get the account and that's the profits and that's what the account is on currently so i'm gonna go ahead and take my profits because boom 1000 is now going to show in my history and i only wanted it to be crash 300 for a personal challenge to myself so i'm gonna go ahead and just take these profits but of course if you have a you trading normally every single day you can open up two to three positions always have your stop loss in place if you have a nice big account take the trade proven to you guys sorry proven to you guys that the strategy does work also don't forget to please like the video subscribe share the video guys we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and i can only do it with the help of you guys i can't do it on my own it literally depends on you if you share the video and you like the video if we will actually build this channel to 10,000 subscribers and don't forget to click the link in the description so that you can join our community on telegram i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one